Take a photo scan of a family member. The scan doesn't have to be good. My certainly is not. Put the texture directly into the output. Add a new geometry node setup. Name it point cloud. Distribute points on faces node. Increase the number. Use a set point radius node to control the scale of the points. Set material. The texture isn't mapped correctly. So in the material add a UV map node and select the UV map. You can use a random value for the point radius. You can also use a math node so you don't have to deal with very small numbers in a random value node. Add a set position node. Put a noise texture into the offset. Use a combine XYZ node to control the direction of the distortion. Use a map range node and set the minimum value to minus one, so the points won't be distorted to the right, but also in both directions. Increase the scale of the noise. To create a scattered look, use a math node set to multiply to control the strength of the distortion. Add a mix node and use another noise texture as the factor. Use a color ramp and set it to constant. Now you can use this noise texture to control which points will be displaced and which not. If you want to control the position of the noise, add in a position node and use a vector math node. For final rendering, you can use a cube and use volume scatter to add this fog to your scene. Add some lighting with your area lamp. You can also use a RGB curve node to tint the color of the point cloud texture. So now that we are finished with this tutorial, I can advertise some of my stuff to you. So I recently released the first part of a tutorial series about how I made this shot from my short film fishing on Gumroad, where I explained how I made the environment for this shot. There are also procedural sky shaders, a curve to rope simulation add-on and EXR film LUTs. Or you can get all of the stuff on Patreon for a lot cheaper. And the other parts of the tutorial series I will release in the future too.